All right, so we go over to the contract on Ether Scan. And we look at the right contract. And the second function is this burn function. And it basically has the user address that's burning and the amount that they're burning. Burns in and creates a proof of burn record to be used by connected DeFi services. So when you burn in DB Zen and you burn in, you know, Zen Shiba and Zen Doge and all these burning projects, they're actually coming over to the Zen contract and calling this function. And it's part of that system. You know, when when that's where the Zen goes, it goes into this function, this number two burn function, and it disappears forever. The problem that I have with DB Zen right now is that these NFTs don't count towards the proof of burn record. So we need some clarification there. I don't really, you can't come here and burn your NFTs. So since it's not getting burned here, it's not going to be on the proof of burn record that this is writing. So what happens? So we, if we all just burn our NFTs for DB's NFTs, then we don't get any allocation for X1. You know, that kind of ruins what was happening at, at DB Zen and DB Zen NFTs. So I'm not mad about the allocation that the burners get. I think that's completely fine. But the DB Zen NFT thing kind of bothers me. Like they, they, we should be able to come up with a way to figure out how our future burns Zen. If we were to burn Zen NFTs, how does our future burn Zen get an allocation or get added to the burn record somehow? Because as of right now, the only way to burn Zen is if you have it. You can't burn future Zen, which was the whole premise for DB Zen or the DB Zen NFTs, I guess. So that's one of my big questions right now. And if it's, you know, the answer of the question might be, you know, sorry, it, it doesn't work like that. You know, the contract's immutable. We can't change the contract. They, we can't burn the Zen NFTs. We can't destroy them. That might just be it. Let me see. I wonder if I, I might be just talking out of my ass. Let's go check out the Zen Torrent contract. Okay, so there is a there is one then. But it doesn't say it's part of the burn record. So that's where I'm stuck. That's where I'm stuck. It, it doesn't say, you know, burn Zen Torrent Zen NFT, which can be used by connected con connected contract services. So that makes sense that, you know, that However, why doesn't it say it counts for the burn record? You know, that's what I really want to know. Will it be? And how will they figure that out? I think that's going to be extremely bullish for DB Zen if they end up changing the allocation to include the, the future Zen that gets burned in Zen NFTs. And then DB Zen will continue forward with their DB Zen, Zen NFT project. I think that's kind of a bullish scenario for the entire ecosystem db zen holders are happy they can burn their zen nfts get the allocation it gets added to the burn record but if it doesn't get added to the burn record nobody's going to participate why would you participate i would just wait until my zen matures and then i'd burn it in db zen instead of a db zen nft so it's definitely something to think about Does DB Zen burn at the Zen NFT at the end of the Zen NFT term? That's what I'm not. So, my I'm I'm just looking at the contracts. So if you look at the Zen Torrent contract, the Zen NFT contract, it does have a burn function. The difference is the burn function on the Zen contract says it creates a proof of burn record. The one on the Zen NFT contract doesn't. It doesn't say anything about a burn record. So I, and they all they also mentioned that only Zen if you burn Zen. So technically, I'm curious how they would do it, and hopefully, it's just my misunderstanding. Maybe I'm just getting it wrong. But you can burn your Zen NFTs in the Zen Torrent contract. However, it doesn't say it counts towards the proof of burn like the one on the Zen contract does. 